Welcome back to Burn Peak. I'm Seth, and today we're doing something a little bit different. We're kind of the same. We did a bike hacks video, and I made like a sandblaster out of a soda bottle, and you guys in the comments told me that Harbor Freight has a sandblasting cabinet for $150, and you had me at Harbor Freight. Now, Harbor Freight refers to it as an abrasive blast cabinet, which to me is a sandblaster. You can point it at something, it'll rip the paint off, any type of scale or rust or anything, it's gone. So today, we're gonna sandblast, but first, I've gotta build a dolly for it. So you may be wondering why I built the dolly for a benchtop sandblasting cabinet. The reason I did is because I want to store it under the bench. All right, we got to pray to bejesus that this thing fits because I've got a knack for building things that don't fit. So how this works is, you got your air hose. The air hose provides air to blast sand. You got your vacuum port, that's just for dust collection. It gets really dusty in here and you can't see what you're doing and it's probably bad for you. And then you put your hands into here and then you got these gloves. So you take this gun in this hand, you take whatever you're blasting in this hand and you're completely isolated from the sand except for the insane amounts of sand that come out of here and in all the other places. But for the most part, it all stays in there. Now on the inside, the sand just kind of sits in the bottom and it gets sucked up through that tube. Now there are other ways to set it up, but people who spend $150 at Harbor Freight, they set it up this way. Stick that hose in there and we're in business. Now there's something that I have been meaning to sandblast. Is this brass nut. People talk about brass balls, I got a brass nut. Now, my dad got this out of an elevator shaft probably 15, 20 years ago and he gave it to me. Who wouldn't want one of these? It's sick. But it's showing its age and I wanna see what it'll look like if we sandblast it and make it super clean and shiny. I don't think that this is gonna be shiny because this is like 80 grit sand, but it's gonna be clean. Take a good look at this nut and the color it is because it's the last time you're gonna see it like this. Goodbye, dirty nut. Here's how she works. We got our dust collection system going outside. I got this, got my dirty nut. Now check this out. I'm gonna hit it right there. Oh my goodness. Let's take this out and look at it in the light. All right, let's take a looky here. Whoa. So that's what brass looks like when it's not shiny. It's like practically white. I guess I could clean it a little bit and it would bring back, yeah. That was probably a mistake. And on that note, why do I need to sandblast anything? It's because our flip bike series has really taken off and I've been restoring individual bike parts. So I sand them down, I try to do my best with them, but with a sandblaster, it's just gonna speed up the process so much. Let's go through the parts bin and see what we can sandblast. So the one thing I do worry about is because the finish is kind of rough, would it wear out a chain or kind of ride rough? I don't know, chains are steel. It might actually just smooth out after a couple of miles. 
If you're an engineer or a machinist or something, let me know because I might want to do this on flip bike. For now, I'm kind of curious what'll happen if we just throw a glossy clear coat right over this chain ring, what it'll look like. Who's my next victim? All right. Hopefully it doesn't burst the seltzer because that'd be bad, but we could have a nondescript seltzer sealed up and everything. <laughs> All right, if this bursts, this is gonna be a big cleanup job. Are we in danger? Oh, huh? you see the wrinkling? Oh, you see how the can's buckling out right there? I'm not gonna sandblast it. I'm, I'm done, change the plants. Yeah, that's, you don't wanna do that. I bet you that really gave it a rattling too. Yeah, don't do that. Sandblast. I've had this for a full 24 hours, so as you can imagine, I've already sandblasted everything in my entire shop, so there's not much left at this point. All right, so these pedals, I don't remember where these pedals came from, but it was off of one of the flip bikes. These pins are completely seized. I've soaked them in anti-seize, I've like hit them with a torch, I've tried everything to get these pedal pins out, but I can't. I think if I throw some tape around here, we can avoid taking the entire thing apart and we can just sandblast it as is and we can just have some cool sandblasted pedals. I recommend you don't do that um, because if you get sand in the bearing, it's not gonna be like a working bearing anymore, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> That's a badass looking pedal. When it gets muddy, it's probably really hard to clean because it's not smooth anymore. But we could throw a clear coat over this, nice heavy clear coat. Speaking of which, let's go check out our chain ring. All right, looks like this needs a little more dry time, but pretty freaking cool. That's actually just the color of the aluminum and then some clear coat over it. That could be like a flip bike signature kind of thing. Could have a company that doesn't really make good parts written on it and then uh, we can just sandblast it off. Not race face, this is actually a good chain ring, but if it was like, uh... oh, here. Here's a good example. Open bike. If it says open bike on it, we can just blast it off and uh, yeah, make it say something else. So that's it. If you have been thinking about getting a $150 sandblasting cabinet from Harbor Freight, well, it works. Uh, you just saw it, fits under a workbench with a little bit of modification, and I'm certainly having a lot of fun with it. And now that we're in the deepest, darkest part of the winter here, where we're gonna get snow and freeze thaw and all that, it's gonna be another thing to mess around with in the garage, and I can't wait to use it on flip bike. So as you probably realize, I know next to nothing about sandblaster, so you can tell me whatever you want in the comments. I am enjoying my matte finish brass nut. I'll enjoy it until the day that I polish it up. Until then, thanks for riding with me today. I'll see you next time. All right, I think that's as polished as I'm willing to get this. What? That's a commitment right there, right? <laughs> that's definitely committed. <laughs> How long did you look at this before you actually just cut it? Like, like 10 seconds. Like